I am not being eaten by Nezeki mice. By Nezeki mice. Ah, no, wait, no, wait, no, wait. Et voila, it works. Come with me. Uh, please, I'm not done here. Don't make me go anywhere yet. I I'm not done yet. I, ha I have music sheets. I need to go give them to the woman. Up there. See that building? High above the others. If you installed the transceiver at the very top of that tower, we should be able to communicate with the whole city. My friends might still be out there. If there is a way out, they'll know it. You're the only one small and quick enough to evade the Zerks. We need you, little outsider. Bring us to the sky. Scratchy, 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 scratchy! kind of gathering. The city is full of neon. It wasn't always this way. There used to be strict energy caps, especially in the slums. But people couldn't handle the constant darkness. One day, someone lit up rainbow lamps, neon signs, all over their house. That person was taken away and never seen again. But people saw hope, and not long after, everyone started putting lots of lights in their homes. There was nothing the oppressors could do. It was a way for people to see colors again like on the outside. I think it helped. Okay, so there's another memory thingy somewhere. Oh, that, that swings, okay. Okay. I can roly poly this.
Okay, can't push that. Can jump on that though. Oh, it's. Oh, it's all covered in goop! It's all covered in goop! I don't know, but it's very, very squeegee. Oh, this is like... This is like some last of a shit, isn't it? Oh, I don't like the sound of this music. the door then run 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 away Okay, okay, I get ya. I get ya. Oh, there's rats up here too. No, no! 
Go away! Oh wait, oh wait, oh wait, oh wait. Oh, Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. Okay, okay, okay. Outrun them. Outrun the mices. Outrun the mices. Outrun the mices. Bad mices. Bad, 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 bad. Not. No, no. Get off me. Bad. Go away. 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 No. One eternity later. Okay, I think I think I need to be jumping jumping into the thing. I'm no bad my seas, bad bad my seas, bad bad my seas. Jump, jump, to 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 jump. No, leave me alone. Nope, 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 nope. I am not being eaten by Nezerki mice. By Nezerki mice. Ah, don't wait, don't wait, don't wait. Ha ha ha. I'm in a place and you can't get me. You're sure as hell trying, though. You are sure as heck trying. But this is, this is some Last of Us kind of stuff. the transceiver on this antenna. view. It's beautiful from up here. I remember now. The city. It was meant to be a shelter. <coughs> Those look like stars, but they're only lights marking the hermetic roof sealing off the city. Humankind built this shell to protect themselves from the outside, but it came at a cost. Nobody can go out. The outside was a disaster, completely barren, unlivable, and dangerous. But if you come from there, it must mean it's safe again. And my promise wasn't just to go to the outside. It was to open the city. 
I still don't understand why some memories are coming back and others aren't. But I'm certain now this is my purpose. I have to open the city. Come on, let's go back and find Momo. Now that we've connected the transmitter, we should be able to get help. Okay, the sun's part two. Okay, I can. Look, I oh know. Little outsider, if you're reading this, that means you're still alive. Excellent. I took some equipment to the bar to take advantage of their antenna. Come meet me there. I've locked the window, but the code to open it is quite simple. It is 5R42TSSFHR. Admin, admin. Be careful, it is case sensitive. See you at the bar. Momo. That must be the code for the window near the entrance. Let's go. Here's the lock for the window. The code was... Hmm. It was a H, I think. Error. Wrong key. Whoops. My bad. Okay. Let's try that again. Hmm. And then it was O. Or was it a zero? Let's see. Success! It worked! Momo is at the bar waiting for us. Let me see if I can get this thing working. I've almost got it. Hello, can anyone hear me? Hello, yes, we can hear you. We are from the slums. We're looking for a way out and... Wait, is that you, Zeltzabar? Momo? I, I can't believe it. I'm so happy to hear your voice, Zeltzabar. Where are you? Are the others okay? Yes, Psst. we are safe. Psst. We found our way up. Psst. Hello, do you still hear me? You have to go through the sewers to reach us. Psst. Very dangerous. Psst. Zerks everywhere. Sewers, how? Hello? Darn it, we've lost the signal. I can't believe it. Zeltzabar is alive. He and the other outsiders managed to go up through the sewers. <laughs> the sewers are the most dangerous place in the slums, but if Zeltzabar made it, there must be a way. You'll never get past the sewers. It's infested with sarks. They'll make a quick meal out of you. Especially you, little one. Many tried their luck in the past. It doesn't end well. Anyway, I warned you. Your business is none of my business.
Seamus. His father, Doc, used to be a great scientist. He was working on some new weapon to fight the Zergs. A few years ago, he went off to test the device and never came back. Seamus has never been the same since. Don't listen to Seamus. He's just scared like I was. If Doc built a weapon, that's our ticket to join the Outsiders. In his notebook, Doc mentioned a secret lab a few times. That must be where he was working on it. There might be a clue in Seamus' apartment. Come on, follow me. Okay, so we're going to Seamus' apartment by the looks of things. Um, to potentially find a secret lab and do the thing and the stuff and the things. Okay, where did you go, Momo? Where did you go? Okay. Come on, Seamus, open the door. You know your father would have wanted to help us. Well, that was to be expected. This situation is pretty tough on Seamus. He doesn't want to hear about the outsiders anymore. He won't help me but you. I think I have an idea. Here, take Doc's notebook and show it to Seamus. It contains a lot of information that will hopefully act as an electroshock. Find the secret lab, little outsider. I'm going back to the bar to try and re-establish communication with the others. Okay. We go in here. And we'll go exploring. What are you doing in here? I told you, getting through the sewers is a suicide mission. Leave me be. What's this? Wait, is this my papa's? Oh, wow. I never knew. There's a secret room here in Al Flat, but where? Okay, so we're looking for clues to a secret room. We need a card. Time will tell. I've never noticed that digit code before. How did I miss it? I have no idea what the password would be. I don't know, is there a clue somewhere? I don't know. I mean, there's a... Oh, 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 time will tell. Two o'clock, five o'clock, one o'clock, one o'clock. So let me see if this is it.
I've never seen this room. I can't believe he managed to hide it from me all this time. These blueprints, they must be for his Zerk weapon. Papa was always so secretive with his work. He told me the weapon was working in theory, but it needed a real life test. He went outside the slums and he never came back. Robots News Headlines Zerk are officially no longer under control. They now eat metal. Find anything interesting in here. Okay, so we're, we're looking for something. Observations. Cute sounds, but never friendly. Old bacteria of human time. Eat all kinds of materials. Total vision in the dark. React to the intense light. Okay, so they're scared of lights. Gotcha. Found a thing! Seamus! Wait, I remember that. That's his tracker. Papa always used that tracker to keep an eye on where I was. Maybe we can reverse it to find where he went. I can't believe my papa might still be alive. I've missed him so much. You need a weapon for the Zerks, right? My papa definitely took one with him. We just need to repair the tracker so we can find him. <coughs> Someone in the slums should be able to help. Come with me. I'll open the door for you. Okay, so we've got to repair a tracker. Now, if I was someone who could repair a tracker, I would probably be... Um, what's his face? Elliot. I can get in. Hello. Thank you. Can you repair this for me? Oh well, that's a great tracker. I recognize this model. It's a Tohima BR2000. You can track anyone with this little gadget. May I? I know how to uh, repair it, but when I'm traveling like this, I can't use my keyboard. I don't know if I'm sick or something, but I definitely don't feel right. Good thing I'm a poncho! I can't work when I'm shivering like this. I think I need a blanket to be able to fix your tracker. <coughs> oh, where did you find this? It's amazing. Let me try it on. Dumb things on street. So many dumb things.